payday? Do you want your payday? Let's give God a joy. Let's give God a praise. I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all. I want my payday. I want my payday. And you know what? I really do appreciate you all participating with the word, with the songs, because guess what? Payday is coming after a while. It's coming. And if you don't put your time in, you don't wave your hand, don't use your voice, one day you ain't going to be able to use it. I know we, we got to get ready to go, but let me just tell you a testimony. Maybe 15 years ago, 15 years ago, I wasn't able to move, wasn't able to walk around, wasn't able to do too much for myself. Get to the point where you depended on the doctors. Cleaning you, wiping you. I had a time bomb ticking in my head where the Lord saw fit to allow me to walk. Move around, give God the praise. And when I said payday, that day could have been my last day. That day could have been my last day. But God gave me something to talk about. He gave me something to wave my hand about. He gave me something to praise God about. So when I said payday, 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 it's payday. Woo! Thank you, Lord. Lord, I'm serious. I'm serious. I want the Lord to keep me humble. I know my gift is not necessarily singing. But one thing that I do know I have. I have a testimony, and every chance that I give to share my testimony, I'm going to give it. I don't only give it in the church house. I give it on my job, and it's not so much doing all this talking. I want to live the way I, I want to live the way I talk. I want to live the way I talk. God is too good to me, and when someone calls you, and tell you you have a time bomb ticking in your head. Most people's reaction is, is this today? But God gave me a second chance. And I said, payday? I haven't worked in about 10 years due to my medical issues. That same job, the same job that I took medical leaves absent a year later, it's my anniversary of working a whole year, not being able to work for 10 years. At that same job, I'm still there. And you know what the Lord did? The four years I was there, they added this year to it. So I got five years anniversary working at that company. I get paid every week. At one point, I was getting paid every month due to medical leave. But now I'm getting paid every week. So when payday is coming, I want to be paid with the Lord. I want to be paid with the Lord. Who looking for their paycheck? Who looking for their paycheck? You better work wise day. It's coming. We just left for funeral. It's any time, any day, any minute, any hour. We can wake up the next morning. We won't be here. But we're going to get a song, prayer. We're going to get a song, then a prayer. And then the next force will be the master or missus here in morning. We get a song, then a prayer. Keep me in your pathway, Lord. Keep me in your pathway, Lord.
night in our rise this morning. Close in our right mind. Thank you for all our trials and tribulations that have come before us. Realize we have someone we can come to. Thank you, Father, for how you took care of us over the dangerous highway, the dangerous sin and unseen. Ask you, Lord, to bless the one that have a desire to come and couldn't make it. Lord, we ask you to touch them where they be, in their home or wherever, their hospital or wherever they may be. Lord, we thank you for the one that traveling the dangerous highway. Allow them to make it to their destination. Father, we ask you to bless them, Lord. Touch their heart. Touch the one that has fallen away from this gospel. Lord, give them faith to come back in, Lord. Spend that and trouble their hearts and their mind, Lord. Touch them, Lord. Lord, we just thank you for all things. Thank you for all the ministers and elders that teach the word. Not only in this part of the but everywhere. We thank you for our great bishop, Lord, how you give them a great life. As you continue to let them down in the depth of your word. To take us on to perfection. Father, we just thank you for his arm barrel. Could continue to be on one of Looking out for the people. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for our pastor. Lord, we ask you to continue blessing his wife. And they scribe and try to bring us the word of God. We ask you to continue to bless his family, Lord. Yes. Bless his spirit, Lord. Let him live down in the depth of the word, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Lord, for him being in our being, y'all. Yes. Lord, we thank you for all the members, sisters, brothers, children, the nieces, nephews, pastors, deacons, everybody, Lord, that make up this organization. Yes. Lord, we don't know what they need, Lord, but you know. Yes. We ask you to test them. Lord, I ask you to test my wife. Yes. Test my body. Yes. Thank you, Lord, how you brought us through all trials and tribulations. From the rocking of the cradle up until this present time. Father, we just thank for all your goodness and mercy that you stored upon. Lord, you know exactly the thing that we have standing in need of. We ask you to bless us, Lord. Lord, we thank you for all our children that you've given us, Lord. Ask you to bless them, Lord. Bless their children. Lord, we ask you to just trust their mind. Some are not here, Lord, but bless them to come here, Lord. But now that you get all power, we have great faith. Lord, we ask you to give us more patience. Give us more knowledge and understanding. How to deal with one another on one accord. Let the brother Lord continue. Not only the brother, but the sisters and the brothers as well. Test them, Lord, where there may be some weakness in them. Bless them, Lord, to be able to come up, Lord. Bless us all to be on one accord, Lord. And we can receive the thing that prompts for us, Father. Father, we thank you for everything, Lord. Let us get rid of everything that's not like you, Father. We just thank you, Lord, for all these many blessings, Lord. That you to bless this servant throughout, Lord. Your precious name we pray. Amen. Amen, amen. Now yes, we'll sir. Turn, turn the service over to the personal ceremony. All right, let the church say amen. Amen, them brethren had it on fire. Y'all remember that back in the day when they passed the mic around? And you just sang till you get happy. Huh? Man, I've been around sometimes where they say, uh, you can sit there if you want to, because the longer you sit there, the longer we're going to sing. <laughs> so you better get up and start moving. <laughs> and then we'll consider sitting down. But we thank God for our devotional leaders. We praise the Lord for them. Let's give them another hand. <laughs> Amen. We certainly thank God for Henderson Temple being here uh, to help celebrate 75 years here at 7578 Conyers Street in Lithonia, Georgia. Of course, we haven't been here for the whole 75 years, but we've been here for a mighty long time. And, amen. We thank God for blessing us to be a part of this great organization, this great church. They have blessed my life above and beyond measure. And we certainly give God the glory, and we give God the praise. We serve on our bishop and his absence. Jeffries, thank God for Ella Mann and his wife, Ella Kemp, amen. their families, my family, amen, Minister Taylor and his family, the saints of Henderson Temple, as well as St. James, amen, we thank God for the oneness, the oneness of the mighty God that we serve, amen, we thank God for the Father, we thank God for the Son, and we thank God for the Holy Ghost. And we thank God for the revelation that these three are one. Amen. When we talk about the Father, we're talking about the Son. And when you hear us talk about the Son, we are talking about the Father. Amen. And he certainly has raised us up these last days to serve him and to give him the glory. We're going to have our welcome coming from Mother Cassandra Camp. Let's give her a hand as she comes forward. Welcome to 
St. James 75th Church Anniversary. It is good to see each and every one of you that are here today. It is a blessing to be among each other. I'll again, I, again, I'll just say, welcome. Well, I hope y'all feel welcome. And that was kind of short and sweet, but it's the spirit that God, God doesn't give us that makes you feel welcome. Right? God humble us down. Amen. Give us a spirit of meekness. Huh? Spirit of forgiveness. Amen. And the spirit is perfecting. Amen. Anything that lack it. In other words, what we're supposed to be, the spirit is making us whole, complete in Christ Jesus. Testimony, Brother Jaquan Davis. Let's give him a hand. <laughs> Bishop Jeffries and my pastor, Ella Mann, the great minister, Mr. Taylor, and to all the holy elders who preach of this church, I honor all of them, the deacons and the mothers, the brothers, sisters, and friends. I'm so glad that I tried the Lord a little while ago, and I found out that he is all right. I think I heard a song one day say he's a well of water, you know, he's a sure foundation, you know, he made a way out of no way, he's all right. Hallelujah. But saints, I, uh, my nerves are a little bit bad. I don't know why. But I wrote my notes down on a piece of notebook paper because I will forget what I'm supposed to talk about, okay? But uh, let's see. Back when I was 11 years old, I uh, broke my hip. And so, you know, a lot of people, they see me acting up, but they don't know I'm acting up with a, with a, a messed up hip, you know? And so when, I, uh, when it rains, it gives me a little trouble. You know, it gives me a little, it hurts a little bit. But then, so it rained this week, so a little bit of trouble. Then I decided to start back going back to the gym, a little bit of trouble. And then I decided on Thursday and Friday that I was going to work in the yard all day. So, saints, my hip is tearing me up right now, but God is still all right. Yes, he is. Back in December, and I'm, I'm going I'm to sit down, but I got a lot, I, I, two sides, I got two sides here, okay? Back in December, I was talking to some of the brothers, and they, they were talking to me, and they said, well, Brother Quan, how you, why aren't you married? And why, why, they were asking me all these questions, and I, I don't know the answers to these questions. It's not that the Lord, ain't, the Lord ain't ready for that to happen yet. So I started praying back in December, and I said, Lord, bless me. I said, I don't want to stay in this house by myself. And I said, I don't want to just be here, you know, all by myself. And so about four weeks later, my granddad had a stroke. And, uh, you know, his living situation with his wife, it just didn't work out where we can take care of him over there. And my mom, she couldn't take him to her house, so they had to come move in with me. So the Lord, he answered my prayers. I'm not there by myself no more. <laughs> but I don't, I tell you, I wasn't expecting this, but God is still all right. But even through all of these situations, even through all of this, this uh, my granddad's sickness, 
I've learned that he, I, I just see God's hand in the midst, yeah. you know. Yeah. I really see God just really touching his body and really just bringing him through this, you know. Yeah. And so I, uh, I, I, I've always been a believer. But even more now, so I just see God just bringing my granddad through this. And that's a testimony by itself. You know, and so saints, I, sometimes you get discouraged. I'm not going to tell a story. I get discouraged. You know, I get the crying and I get all upset. But I had to find a way to encourage myself. And I do that. The scripture tells us to sing hymns, songs and hymns and spiritual songs, making melodies in our heart. And so I do that. I, I'm not the best singer. I'm not a Leslie or a Mother Camp or a Mother Stafford. I'm not none of those. But I try to sing and give God the glory because I know that through all that I'm going through, he's all right. And I'm just crazy enough to believe that trouble don't last always. I'm also crazy enough to believe that all things are working together for the good of them that love the Lord. So I believe that it's all coming together. And so, saints, let's see where I caught my money. Let's, let's see. So one of those songs that I sang, and I'm not going to sing. I'm, I'm not going to sing a whole long song. But the song says, it won't always be like this. The Lord will perfect that concerning me. But sooner or later, it'll turn in my favor. Saints, I believe it's turning around for me. Y'all pray for me. Let's give him a hand. Come on, we can do better than that. It's turning around for me. Y'all believe that today? You believe your situation is turning around? Can we give God the glory? Can we give him a victory clap? Because we believe by faith our situation is going to turn around. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. A man that's born of a woman in just a few days full of trouble. Huh? Brother Joquan, let me help you out. That was a great testimony, but let me give you a golden nugget. Uh, you need to make your request, your specific request, be made known. Let me tell y'all something about my God that I serve. <laughs> he know what you're praying for. <laughs> he know what you're thinking. <laughs> but he, he want that thing to be specifically made exactly what you want and looking for. Don't stop praying. <laughs> It look like to me, you look at that, for that prayer to be a little bit different from that. <laughs> but you know, the good news about that, it is good that uh, you providing for family. Y'all know that stripped you, right? Amen. We don't throw our loved ones away once we become saved. And we are saved by grace through faith of the Lord Jesus Christ. So we thank God for Brother Jaquan for that great testimony. Amen. And things gonna turn around. And I do believe that. I said to everyone, hold on. Come on up, St. James. I said to everyone, hold on. Huh? Amen. While they're coming out, I'm gonna just, just touch just a little bit of this song. Hold to his hand. God's unchanging hand. You better hold. Can we do it today? Can we just hold on to his hand? God's Just, just waiting on him. <laughs> Come on, choir. Help us out. Help us out. Help us out. Help us out. Come on, put your hands. 
hands together this Sunday morning.
so I can't lead it like you, but I do know he done a lot for me. Still alive, still moving, still in my right mind, still with my one wife, still love my children, still love the Lord. Can the church say yay? I'm so glad I can feel the love of God. I know he is real. I know there's none. There's none like him. Almighty. He's sitting on the throne. There's none before him. There's none beside him. And there's none after him. And there's none to be compared unto him. Say yes. Say yes. Glory. Saved by works. Is that what the Bible said? I did it say saved by grace. Through faith. And not a works. My God is good. All right. That was about, you know, a good 30 seconds that I might have took from your sermon, Braille. <laughs> but you've been the hell of flow. All right. We're going to have Minister Taylor to come up, amen, and give his remarks and whatever he would have. And after that, we're going to have the Hennessy Temple Choir and then the word coming forth by Elder Taylor, amen, Elder Man. Man, yeah, yeah, that's, 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 that one sounded right. <laughs> Elder Willie Mann, the pastor of Henderson Temple True Church of God in Christ in Thomaston, Georgia. Amen. We have certainly enjoyed it. It's been a great day. And I say, hold on. Amen. To God unchange his hands. And I say this the saints of the Most High are going to take the kingdom and possess the kingdom. And, and God bless you. Praise the Lord, saints. Amen. Praise the Lord, saints. Amen. We certainly give honor to the spirit of Christ. Amen. Realize that he's the head of all things. Amen. We honor our pastor, amen, his wife and family. Amen. Honor Elder Dennis, his wife and family. Amen. Elder Camp, amen, his wife and family. Also honoring my wife, amen, and my family. Amen. As always, we honor you. Amen. Realize that it's a blessing to be found present in the house of the Lord. Amen. Always thanking him for his goodness and always thanking him for his mercy. Amen. I'm with the choir when they say because he has done so much. Amen. So much for me. Amen. And I can witness to that. Amen. And I know that within that God is yet good all the time. Amen. Regardless of what situation we may go through, I know that God is still good. Amen. I know that God is still in control. Amen. I know that he is someone that I can still lean on. Amen. He is someone that I can still depend on. Amen. I know that he is someone that I can yet call on. Amen. And my God is someone I can pray to. Amen. He has done so much. Amen. So much for me. Amen. I think I heard one scripture talks about how his, his mercy and his compassion. Amen. How they fell in not. And, but instead, they are renewed every day. Amen. I don't know about you, but I need those renewed mercies. Amen. Amen. Each and every day. Yes, Amen. To make it through this world. Amen. Amen. We see so much trouble in the land today. Yes, Amen. And I see St. James has been standing for 75 years. Yes. Amen. Declaring the counsel of God. Yes. Amen. Trying to teach. Amen. And preach to the people. Yes. Amen. About holiness. Yes. Amen. And how it's our job to put a difference between holy and unholy. Amen. How it's our job to put a difference between clean and unclean. Amen. Amen. Do you believe today? Amen. Amen. But we got to show that forth by our works. Amen. Amen. We got to show that forth by our life. Amen. Amen. God is yet good. Yeah. Amen. I think I heard one scripture talking about how the eyes of the Lord, how they run to and fro throughout the whole earth. Amen. Bless God. So that, amen, he can show himself strong. Amen. In those whose heart is perfect toward him. Amen. May God bless you. May heaven smile upon you. Until next time.
situations. Amen. We want to give honor to God, who is the head and creator of all things. We realize there's only one God, and I'm thankful there's only one God. I realize he got all the power everywhere. Amen. I'm glad to be here today to celebrate uh, the 75th church anniversary for St. James True Church of God in Christ. Amen. Amen. We thank God for being here today with Elder Dennis Jeffries and all our dear brothers and sisters that are here with us today, amen. amen. All we're going to do is talk a little bit out of the word of God. And I say that's all we're going to do, but that's what everybody has to live by. The Bible says man should not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of the Lord. Amen. amen. We realize, amen, uh, that uh, Jesus has been here and preached the word, but now he has us on uh on the field, the war field, so to speak, yeah. amen, to preach and teach the word today. And what we're mm. going to preach and teach is going to be according to the apostles' doctrine. Mm -hmm. Amen. We thank God for our dear Bishop Jeffries and uh, all his family, and we thank God, ask God to continue to bless him according to his will, and we thank God for uh, all the holy elders and ministers on uh, the roster, the true church of God in Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. We thank God for our sister, Pastor Minister Taylor. Yeah. His wife and family. We also thank God for Mr. Uh, Elder Kemp yes. and his wife and family. And all, and I don't want to forget my wife and my family. We thank God for all our dear brothers and sisters. 
we always praying for you, and we thank God for your prayers. Amen. We, this is the church anniversary, so we're going to talk about the church. And, we, and if we're going to talk about the church, we're going to talk about the pastors. Amen. I thank God for uh, the true church of God in Christ and all the pastors mm -hmm. that we have, all the ministers and all of mm -hmm. us that are the teachers, amen, and bringing forth the word of God because that is what is needed. Amen. And uh, we look out in the world and we see so many things going on against God. Mm. Amen. And so, and we know, amen, uh, that God uh, is watching and seeing everything we're doing. And I thank God for how God has shed his mercy on all of us. Amen. Not only that he gave his life for our sins, for the remission of our sins, but amen. We thank God for how he walked the earth and preached. And, and taught the word of God, amen. We thank God for how, amen, not only that, amen, he made himself an example for us. Amen. And we thank God that uh, also that he went away to prepare a place for us. Mm -hmm. Amen. He said, where he is, we'll be there. He said, give me St. John 14 and 1. St. John 14 and 1, amen. We Amen. We're thinking about where we would start, mm. and amen. I guess this is where we're going to start. Mm. St. John 14 and 1. Mm -hmm. <laughs> amen. So, uh, so God is going to prepare a place for us in his kingdom. Mm -hmm. And I heard the song earlier. They were saying, uh, put your time in. Mm. Payday is coming after a while. Mm. But now, amen, when you put your time in, mm -hmm. somebody got to tell you, uh, how to put your time in. Amen. Amen. And somebody got to tell you, and I'll just be uh, flat about it or frank about it, however they want to say it. Somebody got to tell you what you got to do to get in God's kingdom. Amen. Amen. You're not just going to just walk up. Amen. And, and just, amen, get on, get it, just, just stand up and God just going to take you in. You've been doing all kind of things that's against God. Right. You're not going to get in God's kingdom that way. Amen. So let's see what the Bible said about, and that place that he's talking about he prepared for us, mm -hmm. it's in his kingdom. Mm -hmm. It's in his kingdom. Amen. Come on. St. John 14 and 1. St. John 14 and 1. Let not your heart be troubled. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God. You believe in God. Believe also in me. And Jesus talking, and the reason you can believe in him, because you believe in God, because he is God. He is God. And what did he say? In my father house Amen. are many mansions. Are many mansions. If it were not so, if it wasn't so, I would have told he you. He would have told you because all he's gonna speak is the truth. Amen. Amen. He gonna he would have told you. Mm. Amen. Come on. I go to prepare a place for I you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go, and if he go, and prepare a place for you, and prepare a place for you, I will come again. He'll come again. Amen. So who is he coming for? He's coming back for the church. Amen. Amen. A holy church. Yeah. A righteous church. Mm -hmm. Amen. A church without spot or wrinkle. Amen. Amen. A holy church. Amen. No blemishes. Amen. And all these things, these spots and wrinkles that, amen, we're talking about that, 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 that uh, you can't have, it's sin. Amen. It's sin. Mm. Amen. So, and then Jesus said, you believe in him. Amen. Believe in the Father. You believe in him too. Amen. Yes, we are going to have faith. Yes, sir. Nobody can make it to be with God if we don't have faith. Amen. Amen. Without faith, it's impossible yes, sir. to please him. Amen. So we have to have faith, amen, to do the things that please him in God's sight. Amen. And if we don't do the things that please him in God's sight, amen, we won't make it to his kingdom. Yes, sir. Amen. So God, amen, he's a very wise God. Amen. Amen. He not only gave his life for us and did all the wonderful works he did, and made himself an example for us. And he went away and prepared a place for us. But amen, give me St. John 21 and 15. God gave us pastors mm. after his own heart. Mm -hmm. And Jesus told a preacher, amen, before he left, mm. he told him to feed his sheep. Amen. And the preachers have to know their job. Their job is to stand and be an example to the flock. Amen. Amen. And to be a, a, a great leader, take the oversight thereof, amen, and to feed God's sheep. Right. And what you going to feed God's sheep? 
you got to feed them the word of God. Right. Amen. And a lot of, and we see churches seem like almost on every block, it seems like. Yeah. Many yeah. churches in the world. Yes, sir. Amen. But the church has got to have a good, holy leader. Yes, sir. And the holy leader got to know his job. Amen. He got to know his job and he got to do his job. Amen. Amen. He got to, he got to preach the word of God. Amen. He got to tell the people, amen, what the will of God is. Yes, sir. He got to tell the people, if you don't stop lying, mm. if you don't stop stealing, mm -hmm. you don't stop robbing, mm. you don't stop killing, mm. Amen. If you don't get out of adultery, mm -hmm. if you don't stop fornicating, amen. amen. If you don't stop sinning, yeah. you can't get in God's kingdom. Amen. Because God's kingdom, the only thing that's going to dwell in there is righteousness. Right. Amen. You got to do what's right. Amen. You got to do the thing that's pleasing to God. And the Bible tells me that God hates iniquity. Right. But he loves righteousness. Amen. Come on. St. John 21 and 15. Jesus, amen, he trained his apostles. Amen. And he told one, amen, that, that stood before the people on the day of, uh, of Pentecost. Mm -hmm. Amen, amen, Apostle Peter. Right. And he asked Peter a question. Right. Amen, because the preacher, we get up and tell the people. Yes, sir. To love God. Right. With all our heart, all our mind, and our soul. Amen. Amen. But we have to know, amen, we got to love God. Yes, sir. And if we love God, we're going to do what God said do. Amen. And God said feed his sheep. Yes, sir. Huh? Amen. amen. Now get up there, amen, and, 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 and talk about this and talk about that. Right. Amen. Feed them the word of God. Amen. Amen. We got to help the people know what the will of God is. Yes, sir. So we can give the people a chance to make it to his kingdom. Mm -hmm. Come on. So when they, when they had dined, Jesus said to Simon Peter. What did he say to Peter? Simon, son of Jonah. Come on. Love it thou me more than thee. Do you love me? Amen. Do you love me? Mm. That's the question to the preacher today. Right. Do you love Jesus? Amen. And if you love Jesus, you're going to love the people. Yes, sir. Amen. You're not going to let them go out there doing things that's against God and going to tell them they're going to be in God's kingdom. Amen. You got to show them how to get in God's Amen. kingdom. Yes, sir. You got to tell them the truth. Amen. You got to get them sanctified. Yes, sir. Sanctify them through thy truth. Yeah. What is the truth? It's the word. It's the word. Come on. He said unto him, Come on. Yea. Yea. Lord. Lord. Thou know that I love you. You know I love you. You know everything. Amen. Come on. He said unto him, What? Feed my lamb. Do what? Feed my lamb. Feed him. Preach to him. Amen. Teach him. Mm -hmm. Help him. Yeah. Encourage him. Yeah. Build him up. Uh -huh. Correct him. Right. Instruct him. Amen. Come on. He said to him, Come on. Again the second time. Come on. Simon. Come on. Son of Jonah. Come on. Love it thou me. Yeah. He said to him. Yeah. Yea, Lord. Yea, Lord. Thou knowest that I love thee. You know it. He said unto him. Come on. Feed my sheep. He said it the second time. Amen. Feed the sheep. Is that mean to me, that means that's important to God. Amen. Too many preachers out there playing with God. Right. Amen. Amen. Put pe God's people at stake. And God came and gave his life for us. Right. And you think he's going to put up with us playing with the people? Mm. Come on. He said unto him. Come on. The third time. Come on. Simon. Simon. Son of Jonah. Son of Jonah. Love it down me. Yeah. Peter would grieve because. Come on. He said what? unto him yeah. the third time, yeah. love it thou me. Yeah. And he said unto him, what did he say? Lord, thou knowest all things. You know all things. Mm -hmm. Come on. Thou knowest that I love thee. You know I love you. Jesus said unto him, yeah. feed my sheep. Show me. Show me. Amen. Show me how much you love. Me. Right. Feed my sheep. Mm -hmm. Amen. And when you feed them, mm -hmm. amen, give, them, give me 2 Timothy mm -hmm. 4 and 2. Right. Amen. You got to, you got, you got to preach the word. Mm -hmm. You got to preach the word to the people. Right. Amen. You don't, amen, you, <laughs> thank God for Jesus. You can't play with God, people. Amen. You can't play with God. If God, if you call yourself a preacher of God, mm -hmm. you got to preach his word. Amen. You can't hold back on the word. Yes, sir. Amen. I know sometimes people, amen, feel 
uh, uh, bad about what we say. Amen. But that's just the flesh fighting. Mm. And God is trying to save you. Heaven, uh, flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Yes, sir. God is trying to save your soul. Amen. Amen. But we got to be able to put that flesh in, in, in uh, subjection. Right. Amen. We need the spirit of God, amen, to hold that flesh down so we can make it to be with God. Amen. And if we're going to get the spirit of God, you know who's going to have to preach it into you? A holy preacher. Come on. 2 Timothy 4 and 2. Come on. Preach the word. Preach the word. Be instantly in season. We got to preach the word. Amen. We got to be instantly in season. Mm -hmm. Come on. Be instantly in season. In season. Out of season. Out of season. Reprove. We got to reprove. Amen. Rebuke. Come Rebuke. Mm -hmm. Come on. Exalt with all long suffering done. Amen. Give me Isaiah 58 uh, and 1. Isaiah 58 and 1. Amen. It's our job amen, to show people, amen. The things that they're go, doing that's going against God. And we got to show them their sins. Amen. And I say this, amen, because we love you. Uh -huh. Amen. And because we love God. Amen. Amen. And we're going to tell you the truth. And the truth, what will the truth do? Make you free. Amen. And where are they going to make you free from? Yeah. And why do you want to be free? Because you want to get to that kingdom. Amen. You want to get to the kingdom. You want to drop the load of sin. Amen. And the preacher have a job to help you out. The preacher, all the preachers to the people, we are your servants. Right. We are your servants. We're the ones that's supposed to help you get to be with God. Yes, sir. Amen. And, and, and if we get out there, amen, and another thing, too, is not just talking. You got to live a life. Amen. You got to live a life. We're going to tell you, amen, not to commit adultery. We cannot have our second or third wife. Right. Amen. Come on. Cry aloud. Cry aloud. Spare not. Spare not. Lift up the voice like a trumpet. Lift up your voice like a trumpet. And show my people. And show my people. Their transgression. Their transgression. And the house of Jacob, and their sin. And the house sin. of Jacob, their sin. Amen. That is our job. Amen. And we do this, amen, because we love the people. Yeah. Amen. We want to build people up. Amen. So they can get an inheritance among all them that are sanctified. Amen. Amen. We thank God for... Uh, the word today, yeah, amen, yeah. and I knew when I came with this message, right. the house is going to be quiet. Right. <laughs> but I got to do what God lead me to do. Right, right. And I, what I want to say now, that we thank God for the preaching we have. Yeah, oh yeah. They are preaching the word. That's right. And they are being an example to the flock. Amen. Amen. And, and whether we know it or not, amen, just to preach the word is not enough. Yes, sir. Amen. The power is being an example. Amen. There, there's no power in trying to tell somebody how to live, and you can't live that way. Amen. So we thank God for the preachers that stand up and live. Yes, sir. Amen. And another thing, too, we tell you to be one. Amen. We are one. Amen. We are one. We're working together as one. That's right. Amen. We know how to work together. We know how to work, work together and have discussions. Right. Amen. And everybody might not have the same opinion. Amen. Amen. But love will lead us through. Right. Love lead us through. Amen. We know how to talk to one another. Right. Amen. We respect one another. Yeah. We honor one another. Amen. Amen. And then I'm the type of preacher, I tell you this too. Amen. If somebody tell me something, amen, that amen, I might have known, I, I felt like I thought this, and everything was correct, but if somebody can make me better, I want to hear. Right. I want to hear. Amen. Amen. I want to grow amen. in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. And sometimes, amen, I could be preaching on one thing, amen, and then I have a brother come and preach on another thing. Don't you know, amen, that's helping the whole church? Right. Amen, because we're we giving everything, God has given us everything that we need. Yes, sir. We need to know about love. We need to know about faith. Mm -hmm. We need to know about suffering. We need to know about cleaning ourselves up. Amen. We need to know about holiness. Yes, sir. Amen. We need to know about perfection. Yeah. We need to know the all that God has for us. Yes, sir. Amen. Because after all, amen, we want to make it to God King. Amen. Amen. If we want to make it to God kingdom, we have to be serious about amen. what we're doing. Amen. And that's including everybody. Right. And the reason I talk about this, I look out in the world and I see so many false prophets. Yeah. 
So many leading the people wrong. That's right. Amen. So many holding back on the word of God. Amen. Amen. And having the people feel like peace and safety. Right. Amen. Because they feel good about going, amen, and, and getting drunk. Yeah, yeah. Amen. They feel good about going and taking other people's uh, possessions. Right. Amen. They feel good about having another man's wife. Right. Another woman's husband. Amen. They feel good about fornicating. Yeah. And I know fornicating is, amen, is one of the things, that, amen, most young people have uh, uh, something they have to either fight it or they're going to fall into it. Mm -hmm. I know that. But God don't like it. Amen. And I have to tell you what thus said the Lord. Right. But one thing about it, amen, God love everybody. Amen. And God want everybody to repent. Yes, sir. Amen. One thing about it, too, amen, we love you. Yes, sir. Amen. And we, we know, amen, that we're not out to try to kill you. No. We're trying to save you. Yes, sir. We're trying to help you. Amen. But in trying to help you, we got to tell you the truth. Glory amen. To God. We'll help you do it. We'll help you get out of sin. Amen. We'll pray for you. Yes. Amen. We'll show you what you need to do. Yes. Amen. We'll be there for you. Yes. You can talk to us. Yes. We're here to help you. But the thing about it, our love is so strong for you that we know, amen, you got to get out of sin. Amen. God has a better place for us. He have a better way for us to live in this earth. That's right. Amen. We got to learn how to let God lead us. Amen. We got to present our bodies a living sacrifice. Yes, sir. Let God work with us. Yeah. Let God give us the better information. Amen. Amen. Hey, be, uh, better information, let her know how to treat the wife. Yes, sir. And wives to know how to treat the children. Amen. Amen. How to love their husband. Yeah. Amen. You don't go out looking for all the pleasure you can get. Amen. You had enough pleasure when you made that child. Right. Now it's time to go to work. Yeah. It's time to raise that child. Amen. Time to teach that child. Yeah. And you got to teach them a way of holding it. Yeah. Amen. You got to help your children Amen. save themselves from this underworld generation. You don't leave your children by, your, by themselves. Yeah. You don't leave your children with strength. Amen. Amen. You stay there and take care of your children. Amen. If you want some pleasure, enjoy your children. Enjoy your husband. Yeah. Amen. It's all right to go somewhere on a little trip. Amen. Enjoy each other. Just as long as you don't see them. Right. Nothing wrong with spending time with your family and having time to be together and love and, and, and laugh and enjoy one another. Right. But you can't forget to teach your children to love God. Right. They got to love him with all their heart, their mind, and their soul. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. The Bible tells us, amen, that we have to do it and teach our children. Yeah. And the reason, amen, yes, we have to do it, but it's power in us doing it while we're teaching. Right. Amen. We can be an example to our children. Right. We can show our children right. how to love God. Yeah. Amen. We can be obedient. Yeah. Amen. We don't have to use profane language. Right. We don't have to let our tempers take control of us. Yes, sir. And have us doing all kind of things that's wrong. Yeah. We can be calm. Amen. We can be loving. Yeah. We can be kind. Yes, sir. And we can be serious. Yeah. And I'm serious today. Amen. But we're trying to help you. Amen. And we can only do what God gives us the gift to do. Yes, sir. Amen. That's all we can do. Glory. Amen. So I may preach real hard on this today, and Elder Denny may preach real hard on faith and love, amen, another time. Right. But we need it all. Right. We need all of it. Amen. If we're going to be perfect, we need all of it. Yes, sir. If we want to get in the kingdom of God, we need to know 1 Corinthians 6 and 9. We need to know this. We know we got to get away from these different things. Uh -huh. God said repent. Right. We got to come to repentance. Yes, sir. Amen. We got to change our lives around. Mm. Got to become new creatures. Amen. We got to become spiritual children. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Children, amen, that has God's Holy Spirit working in them. Yeah, yeah. Helping them along the way. Mm -hmm. Amen. A lot of times we tell people they got to stop sinning. They say, well, how can I? I can't do it. Mm. I've tried. But you got to try Jesus. Right. You got to try Jesus. Yeah. You got to have faith in God. You got to be persistent. Yeah. You can't give up. You can't quit. Yeah. Amen. When you're quitter, amen, you just go ahead and die. Mm. Don't you want to live? Yeah. I want to live. Yeah. I want everlasting life. Yeah. I want to be in God's kingdom. Yeah. Amen. I don't want to be in no lake of fire. Amen. I want to be, amen, a place where there's joy yeah. and peace. Yeah. No more sorrow. Right. Amen. No more worried about my loved one. 
Amen. And I see people, amen, seem like they're falling like flies today. Right. These things press on your heart. Mm. Amen. And you're telling me I need to preach a little bit more hard. Right. Amen. Make sure. Amen. Help people make sure. Yes, sir. Amen. When the time comes, amen, you'll be ready to go to God's kingdom. Amen. One thing about it, amen, we don't know when darkness comes. Right. Amen. It could come in an old man. Yeah. Come in a middle-aged man. It could come in a little child. Yeah. I've seen it before. Amen. And it's, it's going on. Amen. But I'm trying to help you right. get ready. Yes, sir. The Bible says save yourself from this underworld generation. Amen. Amen. We want to help you save yourself yes, from sir. this underworld generation. We want to help you be prepared to go to that kingdom that God has prepared for us. Amen. Amen. But we got to tell you, amen, no unrighteous thing is going to be in God's kingdom. Right. You cannot have in God's kingdom being an unrighteous person. Amen. Come on, read what the Bible says. 1 Corinthians 6 and 9. 1 Corinthians 6 and 9. Know ye not. Know ye not. That the unrighteous shall not. The unrighteous shall not in inherit the kingdom. Kingdom of God. You won't inherit the kingdom of God. You can't do it. Amen. Come on. Be not deceived. Be not deceived. Neither fornicator. Don't let, don't think, amen. Don't let that preacher, amen, skip telling you, amen, that you, you got to get out of fornication. Because mm -hmm. you can't get there. Amen. Look at, look at, I tell you this too, look at your pastor. Right. Study your pastor. Yeah. Watch what he teaches you. Mm. See if it matches the Bible. Right. Amen. Is he telling you what's in the Bible or is he telling you something way out there somewhere? Right. Is he telling you the truth or is he telling you a joke? That's right. Amen. Joke ain't going to do nothing for you. The truth. Amen. The truth going to make you free. Amen. amen. I know I look like, amen, sometimes people say I look mean. I'm not mean. Right. I'm just serious. Amen. I'm serious. Anybody talk to me, amen, I'm a peaceful person. Right, right. Amen. I'm a calm person. Right. I'm an armor person. Yeah, yeah. Amen. But the thing about this, when it comes to the word of God, amen, God will set you a certain way. Yes, sir. Because he, he wants you to be serious about what he's talking about. He wants people to feel the word that you're saying. He wants the word to go all the way to your heart. Mm. To pick your heart. Mm -hmm. get, make it where you say, I'm tired. Mm. I'm tired. Amen. I want to get out of sin. Yeah. Amen. And I want to start doing the thing to please my father. Yes, sir. Amen. Because I know time is winding up. Glory. I've been looking around. Mm. I see trouble in the lane. Mm. I see trouble on the right. Mm. Trouble on the left. Yes, sir. Trouble right before me. Yes, sir. Amen. Time is winding up. Mm. We got to get ready. Get ready. Get ready. And Amen. let's go home. Amen. When God come back, I want to be ready. Amen. Whether I'm in the grave mm. or whether I'm on this earth. I want to be ready. And I know one of our preachers in the past used to say, amen, when the cloud come, he didn't, so to speak, he didn't want to catch a cloud alone. Mm. We want you to be saved. Right. We want everybody to be saved. We want everybody to have a chance. Yeah. Amen. Come on. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not Come on. inherit the kingdom of God. The unrighteous won't inherit the kingdom of God. Be not deceived. Be not deceived. Neither fornicator. Neither fornicator. No idolater. No idolaters. Come on. Adulterers. Come on. No effeminate. Amen. No, no abusers of themselves with mankind. Amen. All of these things. Mm -hmm. They're not going to get in God's kingdom. Amen. Got a few more, don't you? Read them. No thieves. Come on. No covenants. Yeah. No drunkards. Amen. No revilers. Yeah. No extortioners. Yeah. Shall inherit the kingdom of God. No thieves. You're not going to get in there. I don't know. Amen. You might enjoy what you broke in the store and took. Mm -hmm. Amen. But that's only for a little while. Right. A lot of time. Amen. You don't have to wait till God come back to suffer for it. Mm. Amen. A lot of times, amen, they're, they're going to put you in jail. Mm. And somebody say, well, you know, I've been there before for five or ten years. Mm. I'll go back again. Mm. That's a pitiful life. Yeah. That's a pitiful life. Amen. amen. Read what you got. And such yeah. was some of you. Such was some of you. And that's why, amen, and I was a sinner. Mm -hmm. I did some of the things, amen, I'm not going to break them down and tell you what I did. Mm. But I did some things that were simple. Right. Huh? Amen. I, so, amen, I feel like, amen, God has blessed me and brought me out. That's right. Amen, I ought to have enough right to tell you. That's right. I don't want you, a lot of people that's going through things. I don't want, it's just like a father. You don't want your children to suffer the things you went through. Amen. You want your children to have, amen, good days. Right. 
in long life. And that's another thing, parents. Teach your children to honor you. And you're not going to be teaching your children to honor you every time they do something wrong, you're cussing them out. Mm. That's not the way to do it. Amen. 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 You show them how to do things right. Mm. Amen. And help them and talk to them. Amen. And let them know that was wrong. Right. Amen. And try to encourage them and let them, let them see a real holy father. Right. A real holy mother. Amen. Let them know, amen, that you love them. Amen. A lot of times, parents go many years, amen, children start from a baby on up to adulthood, and they never tell them they love them. That's right. Amen. That's a pitiful situation. Yeah. Amen. Never tell them you love them, yeah. amen, even when you correct them. Right. I'm doing this because I love you. Amen. Amen. It better be the truth. Yeah. Amen. You do things, amen, to help your children. Right. You don't provoke them to wrath. Amen. You build them up in Jesus. Right. You build them up in God. Amen. And then you build them up. Amen. And then you give them that extra help they need. Right. For the eyes of the Lord over the righteous. And his ears are open to your prayer. So we got to train our children up. Amen. Amen. Train them up how? Train them up in the Lord. Train them up in righteousness. Amen. Many children, many young people out there in a, in a world of trouble doing a whole lot of, amen, crazy things. But your child could be at home, peace and safety, not fearful and running for the lives, running from other drug dealers, and, amen, running from the police, right, right. running from somebody, amen, that's looking for them because they stole from them. Yeah. Amen. Peace and safety. Amen. Amen. That's what we want. We know we got to live in this, amen, unto our generation. Yeah. Amen. Amen. But we got to be able to save ourselves while we're here. Amen. Yeah. amen. And in saving ourselves, the Bible let us know we need the Holy Ghost. Amen. Yeah. Amen. The Bible let us know about getting that kingdom too. We got to be born of the Word and of the Spirit. Amen. We need the Spirit to get in us, amen, so we can become a child of God. That's right. Because if we're not, we don't have the Spirit of God working in, it, in us, we're none of here. Right. Somebody, amen, may think that I'm talking out of some kind of fantasy, mm. but this is real. real this is real. Amen. This is the real deal. The Bible says save yourself from the underworld generation. And let us know, amen, it's not just for the parents. And for the children also. Right. But the children need, to, need help from the parents. Right. Amen. We thank God for the word of God. Amen. And amen. We thank God for what he laid on our heart and on our mind. Amen. We thank God that we were able to get it all. Right. Amen. And one thing about it, we don't want the stain of, of blood on us. Your blood That's on right. us. Amen. So we have to preach the word. And we know every, not every time we preach is going to be popular. But it's real. And it's going to be helpful. Amen. amen. So we thank God once again. Amen. And I don't know. Amen. Uh, we're just going to, amen, sit down. <laughs> and we ask y'all to pray for us while we pray for you. Yeah. Right. Wonderful. Wonderful. Yeah. Right. Great message. Great message. Oh, Lord, don't want to be here when this world catch on fire and the earth is burning up. Oh, oh Lord, don't want to be here. Let, let me say this while we sing this. Y'all know the world coming to an end, right? Y'all believe the earth's going to catch on fire. Do you want to get caught in the middle of this? You want to be gone from here, right? So I'll tell you what we're going to do. If you don't mind being here, when Jesus split the clouds and chaos is everywhere and the earth is on fire, keep sitting out. But if you don't want to be here, stand on your feet. Sing this praise with me. This is an end time song. We don't want to get caught in a situation like that. Can the church say amen? Y'all might not know the lyric, just follow me. Ain't that what Jesus said? Be you followers of me. Put them hands together. Oh, Lord, I don't want to be here. Yeah.
be with Jesus. Don't want to be here. Ain't that where you want to be? Oh, want to be with Jesus. I don't want to be here. When the world catch on fire and the earth is burning up. Yeah, oh, Lord. I don't want to be here. Preacher, we'll be crying. I don't want to be here. That ain't going to be me. We'll be crying, don't wanna be here. When the wall catch on fire and the earth is burning up, well, how old don't wanna be here? Let me say this. Jesus said, Come unto me, all you that labor, and are heavy laden, and I give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. For his way is easy and his burdens are light. Peter came on alone after Jesus had went off the scene on the day of Pentecost. His sermon was repent. Be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins. Repent of your sins. And then he said you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. If you receive the Spirit, we worried about the end time. Because for us, there is no hell. Can the church say amen? Oh, 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 oh Lord, I don't want to be here. We don't want to be here. Oh, Lord, I don't want to be here. When the world catch on fire and the earth is burning up. Oh, oh, oh Lord, I don't want to be here. screaming, don't want to be here. When the world catch on fire and the earth is burning up, well, oh, Lord, don't want to be here. Now we're getting ready to come to a close. Now what I'm asking y'all to do, I want to hear you sing this song with me because we look to be caught up to meet the Lord in the air and forever be with of his saints. Every eye going to see it. Are you here? Every tongue got to confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of God. Oh, Lord, I don't want to be. Let me hear you say it. Don't want to be here. Terrible time. People will be screaming, I don't want to be here. When the world gets on fire and the earth is burning up, well, oh, Lord, don't want to be here. We don't want to be here. We like to be caught up to meet the Lord in the air. How long are we going to be with Him? Forever? Forever? Can the church say forever? Say forever. Forever. Do you look forward to that day? No more dying. No more crying. No more pain. You know something? No more enemies. I can't even do, even if you can think it, you can't do it. Even if you wanted to hate somebody, you can't do it, Ella. Huh? I look forward to that day. We working. Our labor of love is to enter into a kingdom where there's no end. I feel good about it. Do you feel good about your salvation? Mother, do you feel good about your work, your labor of love? You've been here a long time. You've been toiling a long time. You look forward to God saying, well done. That good and faithful serve coming into the kingdom prepared for you before the foundation of the world. Jesus was thinking about you. Before you was even born. He was thinking about me and elder and minister. Hey, and all of us before we was even born. That's why he went to the cross. Are you hearing me? 
Let me say this before I close it out. I heard somebody say, we don't preach about the cross enough. You only want to talk about the cross three times a year. That ain't enough. Somebody said, bro, pastor, what you talking about when you're having Holy Communion? We need to be having Holy Communion all during the week. I'm talking about your life committed to God, thinking on his goodness, his sacrifice. Let me make this personal. If I go to the cross for all y'all, y'all better call my name every day. Y'all hear me? That way I feel. If I got to go to the cross for y'all's sins, you need to call on my name and thank me every single day. And open up a pathway of holiness and righteousness for you because I died. And then you ain't going to think about this but three times a year. Y'all hear me? He doesn't preach. But God telling me to tell y'all, let's think on the goodness of God. Y'all hear me? Let's do good the rest of this day. Let's do good tomorrow. Then let's do good the day after that. And we're going to do good. Good. And when we get done doing good, what are we going to do? So evil is out, huh? Right? So y'all telling me I can't go home and beat on my wife? <laughs> y'all telling me, huh? I can't cuss my wife out. I can't mistreat her. So y'all telling me tomorrow, get, get your offering together to keep coming around here. Because this here, we need to get this out. Why to get this money going here? Huh? So y'all telling me tomorrow, them people that I'm having problem with on my job, I can't cuss them out? Really? So, so if I went to the church on the other corner, they say it's okay to cuss out your enemies. That church said you can cuss the pastor.